Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. Whether you're a new viewer that's going to go down and click subscribe or whether you're a return viewer or a subscriber, I do appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for being here. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. What we're going to talk about in this quick video is how Wi-Fi groups have changed in the Unify controller. So let's go over to the UDM real quick, and we're going to take a look at this. So we're over here, and to really make the best of this, I know there's a lot of complaints about uh, the, the new settings menu and things like that, but to really understand how the new flow works, we really need to be looking at this uh, new settings. And, and even Ubiquity right here says not seeing everything, go to classic settings. But we are in the new settings, and what we're going to do is we're going to go to Wi-Fi, and we're going to add a new Wi-Fi network. Now, they've add some, added some really cool things here and for this we're just going to call it test and password is going to be test test network is going to be LAN now under advanced this is where you can start talking about your AP groups and all these other things now we've gone through a couple different iterations of you know do we want an SSID to broadcast on 2.45 or both they've kind of rearranged that a couple of times I am actually kind of liking this new way so under the SSID, we now have, you know, the option for both 2.4, 5 gigahertz. And so like I have a weather station. So that weather to SSID is only 2.4 gigahertz because the weather station only works on 2.4 gigahertz. And uh, when my phone was uh, setting up the, the base station, you know, it could see 2.4 and 5. So to avoid any confusion and to make setup super easy, I just selected 2.4. Now this is where you're going to see your group. So under broadcasting APs, what's really nice about the way that they did do this, you got to think about this, have an open mind about it. I know none of us like change, but have, have an open mind. You know, if I'm creating this and I have all kinds of AP groups, whether it's single APs or, or whatever, then I can just select, you know, only these APs are going to have this SSID. So to create a new AP group, which you don't necessarily see on the old settings, which is why we need to be here, we click create new AP group. And I'm going to call this AP group test. And I'm just going to leave, you know, eh, I'll put them both in there, create AP group. So now I have this test group, which is the same right now as my all AP group, but uh, it has both AP. So now I can push this test to both of those APs. So it's it's just a, a new way to kind of think about those groups. And then of course, here's all of our um, other information that's, that's happening, or um, I'm sorry, other configuration options like the unscheduled automatic power saving, multicast enhancements, things like that. So we'll dig more into these in later videos, but there's been a lot of questions and a lot of confusion around the Wi-Fi groups and where the Wi-Fi groups went. Uh, Wi-Fi groups are still here, but it's AP groups now instead of like where we had, you know, in the old controller, we had actual WLAN groups with our SSIDs and you apply that to an AP. This is just kind of coming at it from a different direction. And I think this way may actually make a little bit more sense. You know, let me know what you think in the comments. Is this more confusing? Should they have left it alone? What do you think? I'm actually kind of a fan of this. Uh, to me, it's a little bit more intuitive. We can also see that they are, you know, taking options away, uh, more advanced options away from professionals. They're kind of paring it down so that you don't necessarily need to understand Wi-Fi or networking to get one of these up and going. So they are kind of simplifying it. But this is one section where I saw a lot of confusion. And I think this actually, actually, I, I, I like this a little better than, than the old way. So, but I want to know what you think down in the comments. Let me know, would you? So, yeah, that's it for this video. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you need that IT consulting, go to willyhow.com. Fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to support the channel by using all of our affiliate links, they are down below. They don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks over the channel. It's always appreciated. Once again, I'm Willie, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.